Hey everybody, I'm Jay Nation over here. Um, Alright, so the last video I showed you guys how to get approved. For a video before that, I showed you how to get signed up with Google Assets. So in this video, I'm just going to do a brief, because I already had another video where I actually showed you in depth how to actually add the ads. But this I'm going to give you a brief description of, of each of these. So come up here, and it'll give you, you will put your name for this first one whatever title you want to give it and then you could select the type of band that you want okay now what I would just advise depending on where you're trying to put this if this is going to be like on the sidebar of your website go ahead and make it a rectangle or responsive responsive would be best for that if you're going to put it on the header or the footer you would have a, a horizontal banner like one of these Okay, and of course, anything you would want something that to be like either the large leaderboard or the leaderboard. You could choose whatever you want to be honest, but this is just for what I have used as just work best for me. Of course, you can make your own edits here as well by choosing the types that you like and custom channels, those types of things. Um, I usually don't mess with those for the most part. And then, of course, you would save and get your code. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it would look like. So here's the list of my ads right here. So when I want to get my code, come up here, and it'll be right here. The first thing you want to do is, of course, you copy it, and then you go to where you want to insert it at. Now, for the one that I've actually inserted already, for Ad Inserter, this is where I placed it inside of Insert Box. Now, with this one, let me see, because Block 2 was the one that was for the footer. Okay, as you can see, this one actually selects you select to put the footer before excerpt, after pose, those types of things. And of course, I went up all the pages. And then, of course, I made it associated with the widget, the first footer widget. Again, a lot of times, if you don't already have the header already included, it'll be another option under your editor. So, if you want to use um, either the same code. For footer, because they're most like the footer and the header is going to be the, pretty much the same because of the fact that they're both horizontal. So you can you can just say code if you want to. Um, then of course they get more hits as well. Um, the way you would find that would be through right here your editor. And the same thing would pertain to this one as I told you earlier where you was putting your first initial AdSense code in just to activate the account. Now, after your account activated, they approved your AdSense account, then you come up here and go to your header. Again, make sure you copy and save all of this. You can either use Notepad or Notepad Plus. And I prefer Notepad Plus only because of the fact that it's actually used more so for coding. Then you click on that, and your header code. Then click all of that, copy it. And once your Notepad Plus, and plus Notepad Plus is free to download as well, so you can definitely do that. And I'll try to remember to include it in this video as far as the description goes. All right, so here it is right here, and then you. Open a, new open a new one, and you can see it inserted the same way I want it. And this is going to be the original file. You go ahead and save that into your desktop or whatever file that you use in folder, so that way you can always come back to it just in case something happens with this code. And then what you'll do is look for your header. Your header is right here. Now with me, I designated the header code. So as you can see, I got the header, the footer, for the post, and the sidebar. And that's of course what would be best for you to do as well if you want to keep up with everything. Then I inserted it in between the header, which is the header tag right here, and this is the the closing header tag, and this is the actual coding right here. And if you want it centered, just go ahead and and put this in the beginning of it without the backlash, and then with this one you put it with the backlash, and that closes that off. Now I will be working on helping you guys to learn how to code as far as simple codes go, so that way you know exactly how to manipulate your website to how you want it to be, especially when using WordPress. 
because it's pretty easy because WordPress already has you set up. So with this part, when you just add simple coding here and there, it can help you give the website a, a better appearance. Um, which reminds me, some of these codes I actually do want to remove from my HTML mode because of, the, because of how they look. But I'll worry about the the visual of it later. So then you want, of course, you hit update file. Wow, and it is successfully perfect. So now, once you do that, if you once you have it done in your add inserter, put your code in there and make sure you match up the widget. And this is be for the header, so that way you can get it to look like. Let me show you. It look like this, okay. And then of course the footer has its own as well. It has two at the bottom. So that's that's from the codes that I had inserted. Now sometimes once you get started, they're gonna give you this, this block. And a lot of times, if you are already approved and everything's good to go, they will pop up eventually. And if you have it, the block will stay there until they are approved. But don't worry, as long as the block shows up, then you should be okay. So that's that part. And then I'll show you guys the ads on the blog. And then also show you how to insert those uh, by using your blog. I'm waiting for that to come up. Alright, same thing. It's got the header, the ad of the header up top. Here's my sidebar. There you go right here with the website, which you are. Well, this is my fan page. I made sure my social networks up here. My recent posts. You can get easily click on them. Then here goes the advertisement as far as my Google Adsense ad is in the middle of my my uh, sidebar. Here's my IG. You can click on here and check out what I have. And my tweets. Okay. And then of course at the bottom same thing goes like that. Now to add those you wouldn't want to go to your widgets. So you go to appearance, click on widgets. And if you did not put them in ins add inserter, no worries, it's okay. Because what we'll end up doing is using that same method that I showed you, as far as creating a new ad, then you could use the text and display ads. Well, you could use these two, but uh, for the sidebar, you like to use these, and then create the same way I showed you. And what you'll notice is you can get that code and copy it into here. You see, this is the code that I have. This is my Michigan sidebar ad. See that? And I just put it under custom HTML, or you can put it under text. So, of course, the way you can get these up here, I click on it, dragging it, and then insert your code. Now, since I don't need to do that right now, I can just delete it. But then, once you do that, it does save it for you automatically, and that's how these ads will show up on the side. All right. Then also now how these will actually be working uh, this would be like for um, if you have a whole feed showing so say for example if I want to put it in my web or something like that I can definitely do that and this will definitely this is where the RSS feeds will come in at so you can include the URL that you want them to show up and just scan the page for you or you can add this, the style manually now I haven't actually used this version by myself personally but I'm pretty sure that it's not very hard to use. Then, of course, if you don't want to do that, you can always come to here. Now, this is the one I would actually suggest you to use. So, text and display ads, so as in article ads. Why? Because, for example, when it comes to this one, when you click, when people click on the ads, 
they are going to see an advertisement. I'm clicking on the post, they're going to see an advertisement under the post. It's going to look like this. Now, reason why, not because this one, I already have the widget set up for the sidebar. This one would actually be a part of the ad inserter. Let's go to settings, add inserter. And this one would be after the post. As you can see, that's where I got it set up at. That's why you see it towards the bottom. Okay. You can actually change that to however you want. Well, let me see. There's the title, there's the video, there's the information. Now, you can also you can have it at the, at the top if you want to. You can have it before the content, you could have it after the content. What will probably do after the content. So these are between posts, before comments. So you have different options. And then what I'll do is hit save all settings. And we'll see what happens. This should change it. And only because I do this because I don't want people to have to scroll down too much. And then to see it. So if they if they're already up here, refresh. And they see it. And that might not work necessarily. And if it doesn't show up automatically, that's okay. It might just mean that that just be it for that, as far as how it's going to be set up. But you can play around with it to get a better idea of how this works for you. So let me know what you guys think about how to insert the ads. This is this as well as getting approved is going to be the biggest thing. The next videos I'm going to actually going to show you is how you can actually promote and get free promotion and promote on autopilot and also how to check your earnings with Google Adsense as well as through your YouTube videos so definitely be looking out for that um, I probably should make a completely different uh, set of series for the YouTube which I think I might end up doing so you guys can definitely check that out as well and um, I will show you guys how to go from there and if you have any questions for me just let me know uh, and I will help you guys out and just I'll move on to the next video and basically how, how you can uh, get traffic. So you can get traffic to your site. Or how I get traffic to my site. So there's different, many different ways. And I'll also be updating that as often as possible. Uh, but we'll start off with IFTTT and Pilot Posting. Those are the free, free ones that I use mainly. And of course they're easy to use so as long as you set it up. So uh, we'll go to that and I'll see you on the next video.